Hi everyone. One of the uh, sad facts that sometimes make me uh, upset or kind of the disappointed is that many program, ultrasound and echo programs, that the students spent uh, two years, up, some of them up to four years for bachelor degree, and spending twenty thousand to over hundred thousand dollar, they forget or they fail to teach one of the most important concept on the ultrasound. Doesn't matter any type of the modality of ultrasound, including echo. That I'm going to explain on this lecture. Even if you are a tech with five, ten years experience, believe me. Still, you will like it and you get some different vision unless you, you got it, this, the point of the, this lecture by yourself. Otherwise, I'm sure you will learn something. If you understand this concept of this lecture, you are tech, doesn't matter. Is that first month you are as a student or 10 years experience? And it changed your vision for the ultrasound. Let's go a short, as you know, we have a probe and based on the type of the probe, we have uh, diff three different type of the sound beam propagate and send to the tissue on the vector that or echo probe sound beam passed uh, and sent as a pie shape for the linear as a linear rectangle and for Kelvinier probe is trapezoid shape. Now let's go uh, see what does mean sector. Sector imagine as a knife means sound send the and cut the tissue through the tissue the wedge shape. And this is proof if I have my this one chest wall, the sound passed through this way through my skin and through the tissue. If I am uh, getting, for example, the orientation of the sector, doesn't matter where and which direction be, always on monitor will be up uh, tip of the, the probe side, top of the probe. Imagine my chest is pro, uh, monitor, the marker, depending on how we set it up, on the right side in the echo on the right of the monitor and the other side on the left and the probe side exactly at the top and the bottom at the bottom. If for, if for example, if I have this two structure, imagine this is two structure. If I get it this way, sector pass through this one and show on the monitor next to each other on my turn next to each other. If I scan these two structures from this side on the monitor, this is sector. It's twist and go again as a default. Top, probe, bottom, down. So if I get image, on the image we will see like this. The one that was close to this come anterior and the other one on the left side will be Posterior, it become like that. Now, depending wherever we orientate, change it. Finally, the image will be like that. In other words, the sector pass through any anatomic that anatomic orientation structure. It will be flip, switch, and change a lot. And you have to imagine based on the, your location and orientation and direction of your sector. You have to know how is that in reality that structure in the body. Now let's go for the uh, polystyrene long axis. Imagine this is cross section of the long axis of the heart. Cross section of long axis of the heart. And I, my body is this way. From the side you can see this way. Tip of the tip of the heart, left ventricle toward the nipple, and aorta toward the shoulder. That is the orientation. And go a little in, anterior, 
and this way. Now, when we put it, the our probe over the chest marker, imagine this is marker along shoulder, toward the shoulder or between 10 and 11 and perpendicular left side of the border and our sector pass through our chest like this here this way you can see imagine exactly this way so this is the uh, sound beam cut and pass through the tissue the images come finally is this way imagine it's twisting flipping and then finally come this way this is whatever we see on the monitor it has been twist twist flipped and rotate and a little tilting left and right finally on the monitor we will see like that now imagine septum is like this septum is a little oblique this way for fixing this septum make it horizontal this way what we have to do we cannot change the orientation of the heart heart is location and orientation is fixed but we have one option imagine again like here okay what we can do it marker is this side and here i can do it other way rocking rocking which way if you remember here as you can see here marker yes marker marker to the uh, left shoulder so if i want to fix it and this make it horizontal just i need it make it towing the towing machine the septum become horizontal imagine this was the beginning just with towing means i move the my or rocking or tilting toward the long axis of the probe towing and then it become fixed very easy or vice versa if it's this way just i have to do it healing and then finally on the image become horizontal very simple and easy this is the maneuver if i want to bring the sept aorta to the center here the aorta is here so i am to this direction i have to move my probe toward the aorta so toward the midline i bring the aorta to the center of the sector that is the cross the meaning of the cross section image so what wherever you are putting don't forget the orientation and anatomy of the structure and your sector for apical here we put it marker this is marker around the three o'clock here and pointing to the stapula or right sh shoulder and machine getting us this image is the images has been this way flipping up and this way here rotating and flipping up it give us a four chamber view marker to the marker side is left side of the heart and the other side right side of the heart okay now if i uh, if my heart on the monitor is toward the probe what should i do i move that way my probe or sector move to that one to the left side bring the to the heart to the right if opposite way if my heart on the monitor and the sector is too much on the right i move my probe and sector to the right or medial so it becomes center if it's oblique septum is oblique here for example as you can see this is septum is not vertical on the monitor what should i do if i making towing septum become vertical imagine here if i towing this is marker if i was towing 
it becomes scepter and then on the monitor we will see vertical or vice versa if it's this way i doing healing and then finally it become vertical and just with sliding to the medial or lateral i can move location of the heart on the image and make it at the middle because this is fundamental for getting two chamber don't forget for getting a two chamber you have to bring it septum first of all make it vertical and monitor completely perpendicular uh, to the horizontal line of the monitor bring it center vertical then twist it counterclockwise Without losing left ventricle, we get it two chamber view. That is the way I wanted to explain, and I noticed some of you had hard time to fix those uh, image orientation. For there, I want to get a right ventricle free wall. I want to insonate more oblique. So, in that case, I have to pointing go lateral and fanning to the medial i get it more oblique of the right ventricular free wall so it get a better resolution or free wall and again rv focus view is the same as apical four chamber view just the insonation direction will be changed in apical is vertical but in the rv focus view is oblique lateral resolution increased axial resolution instead of the lateral resolution we use axial resolution more so free wall of the right ventricle become more clear i hope it was useful and use this technique for all your practice if you understand this concept your tech without any doubt the only you needed more knowledge especially medical knowledge related to whatever case you have it just increase your knowledge and go to those principle especially basic uh, those cross section that we demo i have it in the channel go to the playlist and review them a few times believe me after that you don't need anything else just seeing more case knowing how it looks like and increase especially your knowledge medical knowledge about that that what should you do when you have it any cases what should you do extra and more attention in what aspect that is the most important part for, for being as a ultrasound tech or okay tech up to the next time have a wonderful time